I've got a couple of girlfriends coming over for lunch today, so I thought I'd whip up a yummy vegetarian risotto using some of the lovely fresh produce from my garden. Just can never get enough of fresh asparagus. Almost going to seed. See all these are the seed heads here. Mm. And when you eat it, it's like fresh peas. It's so sweet. Delicious raw. It's going to be really good in my risotto. This risotto is so lovely and light with loads of gorgeous fresh vegetables. It's one of those great dishes. People always ask me for the recipe for it. And all I need is just some lovely soft greens. I've got rocket and spinach here, just to finish it off. You'll need aborio or risotto rice, fresh asparagus, white wine, garlic, an onion, a lemon, a cup of beans or peas, some sliced almonds, a bit of butter, fresh vegetable stock, and some Parmesan cheese. I so love risotto. It's like that ultimate comfort food, really. And the thing I love about it is it all starts the same way. Onion, rice, parmesan cheese, and you can add whatever flavours you like. In a big pot, heat four cups of fresh vegetable stock. And then in another pot, heat two tablespoons of butter and add a finely chopped onion and two cloves of crushed garlic. Let that cook over low heat until it's soft and then add a cup of aborio rice and toast it for about two minutes. So let the rice get a wee bit toasty once you put it in there with all that butter and onions, and then it absorbs the flavour. Mm-mm. Bit of wine. About half a cup. I cook it now until it's fully evaporated. OK, so you chuck all the stock in. I mean, old school has you stirring it in cup by cup, but I just put the whole lot in because the rice is going to just actually release all that lovely starch and it'll thicken it and make it creamy just by itself. Add a teaspoon of salt and grinds of black pepper, the finely zested rind of half a lemon and a teaspoon of thyme leaves. Once it comes to a simmer, turn down the heat, pop the lid on and cook it gently for 15 minutes. While that's cooking, I'll get my vegetables ready. The base of the asparagus spheres is often really tough. So if you just snap it like this, where it snaps, that's the tough bit, that's the tender bit. The great thing is with a dish like this, you can use whatever seasonal vegetables you like. It just smells like spring. You can tell the rice is cooked by testing a grain. If you squash it and see the hard white core, you can see there it's almost but not quite cooked. So at this point, we're ready to add the asparagus and the beans and cook it for two more minutes. Then I add a cup of finely grated parmesan, toss in a couple of handfuls of those lovely fresh soft greens and check the seasoning. Mm -mm -mm. A little bit of lemon juice, a few toasted almonds and we're good to go. So simple, so fresh and so easy. How's this? Oh, my goodness. How nice that you could come today. Risotto has to be the ultimate 20-minute meal. Mm. It's so soothing and satisfying, and with all those lovely vegetables, it makes a wonderfully healthy choice for any occasion. Cute. Yes. Good for the weekend. Yes.